Welcome back, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Academy Kids. Thank you for stopping by. This video that we have here for you today, we've started a unit on comparing and ordering numbers. Okay, we need to start thinking about and using different language as we move on in this uh, this unit here. So we need to start using words like greater than, less than, lowest number, greatest number, instead of bigger and smaller, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that we need to focus on that vocabulary as well. So here we had a we had a video just before this one, and we looked at our place values and the importance it plays on figuring out which numbers are greater and which numbers okay are less than so let's look at this let's apply that video your knowledge that you got from that video onto this question here and show me what you know so right in front of us here we want to circle the book with the greater number of stamps one book the first one here is 380 stamps and the other has 392 now, if we think about our place values like we did in the first video, we look at both numbers, 380 and 392. Now, they both have 300s, so now we move on and we look at our 10s to help us out here. One has 8 10s, and the other has 9 tens. So boys and girls, we don't even have to look at our ones. We already have a difference in numbers here, and one of them has 9 tens, and the other one only has 8. So if we have to circle which one it is, which one would you guess here? It is our book with 392 stamps. How's that for circling, boys and girls? Okay, so let's look at the next one here. Which one has the greater number of stamps? We have a book, two books here. One has 952 stamps, and the other has 950 stamps. So let's just look at our place value, get used to that idea and doing it that way. If we look at both books, they both have 900s. So our place value shows, if we put it in a chart, both numbers have nine hundreds. Now let's look at our tens. Same or different? That's right, they are the same. They both have five tens, so nine hundreds and five tens. But let's look at our ones. The one on the left has two ones, and the one on the right has zero ones. So boys and girls, left side or right side, which one has the greater number of stamps? That's right, this one here, the one on the left, 952 stamps because two ones is obviously greater than zero ones, making that book having a greater number of stamps. Okay, let's move on to try this example here without the visuals. I'm going to change slides here and see how we make out with this. Now, copy down each pairs of numbers and use the greater than sign or less than to make a true statement. So you're going to fill in those squares with a greater than or less than sign. Okay, depending on obviously what numbers we have. Let's look at the first one together. 443 on the left, 372 on the right. Boys and girls, let's just look at our place value chart again. Think about putting these in a chart. Our first number here has four hundreds and our other number has three hundreds so we know right away that four hundred and forty three is greater than three hundred and seventy two just like that boys and girls let's go on to the next one one hundred and twenty five on the left and eighty two on the right so let's have a look here we have let's look in our hundreds column here on the left side we have 100 in our first uh, column there in our chart and let's look at another 82 there isn't a number in the hundreds column or a hundreds digit it's just a tens digit so we know right away boys and girls which number is it 125 say it with me is greater than 82 Okay, now one more to go, 338 and 388. So let's have a look, 338, they both have 300s. Let's look at our tens. The number on the left has three tens, and the number on the right has eight 
tens. So boys and girls, which sign am I going to use this time? So 338 is greater than or less than 388. That's right. If you said less than, just like that, you are correct, boys and girls, because 388 has eight tens. Good job. Let's do a couple more here, and we will finish up with this video on comparing and ordering numbers, finding numbers that are greater than and less than other numbers. Comparing numbers is what we're doing, boys and girls. So write a number to make each statement true. 815 is greater than... Boys and girls, anything will fit there. There is no number that has to be in that box as long as it is less than because 815 is greater than a certain number. So I don't know. I'm going to pick 524. Now let's see. Does that work? 815 is greater than 524. I think that works because our first number here on the left has eight hundreds. And the other one that I put in there is 500. So that number is smaller. So 815 is greater than 524. Let's do one more together. Now this number in the box has to be less than 430. So what number could we put in there that's less than 300, 430? Sorry, boys and girls. I'm going to say 334. Do you agree with that, boys and girls? 334 is less than 430. Absolutely. Our one number here has three hundreds, and the other number has four hundreds. So 334 is less than 430. One more, boys and girls. Good job. We've got one more to go before a perfect video. 722 is greater than the number on the right here. So that number could be anywhere anything smaller than 722. I'm going to put 256 just for fun. Let's see, 722, let's read it together, is greater than 256. What do you think, boys and girls? I think that's correct. So any number that's smaller than 722 would make this statement true. Boys and girls, fantastic job. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Watch the video again or watch another one on comparing and ordering numbers. And don't forget the proper vocabulary using words like greater than, less than, lowest number, greatest number. Okay, boys and girls, this is Mr. G saying fantastic job. Signing off one more time. Thank you for stopping by and we will see you soon.